Hey guys, it's Rupert Prison, and welcome back to my FIFA 18 Liverpool career mode. It's weird or that we're. Uh, I, I actually can talk about something good in this episode instead of Liverpool being horrendously bad once it, again. They were actually good this past week. Weekend. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah. They, they actually did something correct. I know. Boggles my mind as well. Goals he scored already I'm not sure how they He's managed. already the top scorer in the league. What a match. And it's live. But and then... <laughs> Liverpool then have kicked off. But how are we looking at it? Brighton will play with these players today. I think that... Coutinho! Firmino! Right from the kickoff, they look like scoring they have now. Sharp from the off, and what a good goal. It's a good win, but it, it will mean absolutely nothing if we do not build up. To the defense because they just didn't follow in the West Ham is Liverpool's next game. And we can see a slightly different West Ham just threw Crystal Palace in the last minute because Antonio. Decided he wanted to be the m most idiotic man in London. But before that, they beat Spurs. Who Spurs, before that game, beat Liverpool. I, I don't understand football sometimes. See, that wouldn't tell me that West Ham were good enough to beat Spurs, who were good enough to beat Liverpool, but they weren't good enough to they beat the Crystal Palace, who Liverpool beat. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I don't know what to expect. I, I kind of expect uh, a lot. Speed that players move now. As it turns out, what a great call. And I want to have hope. That little token. It's given to Mano. Held. Difficult skill. Good effort. To continuing their form. With those volleys. It's all a confusing mess. Every manager wants his team to be ruthless. And that was such an opportunity. No wonder he's unhappy at that miss. On the move and able to cut out the pass. Good forward play from them. Got the opposition backpedaling I mean, a little bit. Emridge and shoots! I'm playing well. FIFA. Go Makes more the sense the odds were against than in real yeah, life. Mm. Now, I thought it was oh. a really wild effort. But it's confusing shit. So. I like the look of this attack. And yes, this is going up a little later than. than Oh, they will have liked, but, you know, I, I, I'm not going to use this as an excuse, I kind of woke up a little late, that challenge. so that's why I'm a bit behind. And don't worry, you'll still get your, the live stream will be up after this, well, I'll start streaming after this. I don't know when it will be up because behind for a goal kick. yesterday's was about five hours well, long. So the town, Alan, isn't it? This potential imagine, big money signing. Well, all the fans are excited about it, Martin. And I bet the player is as well. We'll see. <coughs> Excuse me. The move to go through. There's a dangerous feel to this attack. It's looking good from their point of view. Coutinho! Oh, they could have increased their advantage then. Yeah, I think that would have been... But I would like to some... I, I, I know it's going to be unlikely that they're going to be listening to this. But just in case they stumble across this somehow, in some way, in shape or form, from, I would like to speak to the people behind you too. Fuck you. Yes, this uh, video, the the video of the Shamwani Yotai's career mode before the coverage of the Premier League fixture. I talked about the Assassin's Creed. Town. 
Yeah, it's talk to Ben about it. That oh. one. Look forward to joining you in the gantry. My favorite game in the series of talking about, about Origins because I just got Origins. Thank you from Liverpool. Always back. Firmino. Oh, nowhere near. So oh, I miscued it badly. Decided the best title for the video would be Assassin's Creed games because I was talking about the Assassin's Creed games. They couldn't do it there without me. Hello and behold, when I went, I just before I started recording, I just, I remembered. Holy crap! I forgot to put a thumbnail on the uh, the live stream, so it's probably just the blue screen with the uh, play from the PlayStation thing. Attacking now. Sure enough, it was. Of course it was. Here's the chance. Well, that could be the insurance goal here. That little bit of daylight that they were after. Uh, when I went to put the thumbnail on, I saw it. That video, oh, the one where I titled it Assassin's Creed Game, because I was talking about the games, mind you. That was had the yellow monetization dollar sign. I was like, why? Why is? And then it clicked. Assassin. What assassin? What do assassin? Do what are they known to do? They kill. So I, he was talking about a game. Trying to slip it through. Yeah, if I tile that something different, people will be like, I would sit there and think if I watched that as an outside person, if I were somebody who would just. Who are an outsider hate source. If I were the viewer, I were watching that episode and I were like the football trying to catch the other team was good, but I like that he's talking that he has a subject to talk about. And now it's ended with lots of frustrations. And Coutinho I like the Assassin's Creed game. Whoa, that's thrown over the bar. Let's hear what he has to say. Up on their feet there. That's a spectacular effort. But if I had a different title on that, and I hear someone talking about games, I'm like, wait, if he's gonna, if he's not only playing the matches, which is fair enough, but talking about something else, why didn't he mention in like the title something that would indicate that he was gonna talk? Like, Say if you're not interested in an assassin in the Assassin's Creed game. Still alive here. If I put without if I put a different title and you click that the cross. Nah. And you were like, I don't wanna hear about Assassin's Creed games. Mute straight away. And you'd be like, why is he just talking about the Assassin's Creed game? But with it being in the title, that gives people who want to watch the games but don't want the discussion about the the assassin, the second half, <coughs> the people who want to just watch the games I play with Shamu and Neo ties, is that gives them the opportunity to say, you know what, uh, I'm gonna watch the video because I want to see, see how he plays. But I'm not gonna listen got to it away. the thing, I'm just gonna mute it. They know they can mute it straight away. Hey, there's no worry about that. Uh, if you don't like, if you don't want to listen to me, feel free to mute me and watch, just watch the games. That's perfectly fine. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. And then goes the but if I'm talking about something, I want people to know that's what I'm going to be talking about. That's why these videos have titles. Also because of, as I learned that the videos should have titles. Yes, so they can they stand out. Like if I just call 
Well, this ep this is episode twelve of, F of the, we expected this. Of the Such a one -sided Liverpool event. career mode on FIFA 18. If I just left it like that and I didn't tile the video, or some have an extra emphasis, an extra bit onto the to the tile. Like if I were talking about how if I were talking about Liverpool. I would probably put something like discussing to the far post. in Liverpool IRL, Good effort. Yeah, or maybe in general, or maybe I throw something in like with the FIFA stuff. That would tell people what I am going to talk about. What if there is a specific thing that I am going to talk about? Like sometimes I will just put. It, like the names well, of the team teams now. I play in the in the episode. Coutinho. The reason I do that is because I didn't talk about anything specifically, or to the level it would be worth my time tiling the video. That, but throughout yesterday's video, which I'm on Neo Time, I talked about Assassin's Creed games in for them. Should be home and home. very deep different viewpoint on it. Both more than passionate way. I spoke hook Stevens. Hook a back trying to use the full width of the pitch here to make some progress. Games from my own experience. What I like, what I don't like, which games are better than other games, in my own personal opinion. And that's well. This could be a really sharp. That's fine. That's why I decided now. Look at him go. He best but not the for that video. Assassin's Creed you know, games because we'll that's what I was talking corner. about. I talked about it, it for over half the episode. So a real captain's contribution here with a fine goal. Was a good goal and it came at a, a crucial time, I think, for his side. Your captain's input there. So it's so one-sided today. It's a good racking up the goals to me. Sometimes being a favourite match can weigh heavily, expectation and all that. It's not a problem for this team. It's Save someone a lot time, because if they don't want to listen to Assassin's Creed stuff, they'd have to mute me, and they wouldn't know when it ends. Gets his cross in. He's got his head to it and scored. Now, obviously, skip ahead and just... Listen. This was. He's always on the move in the box, this lad. Like, then you'd be at risk of spoiling what happens in the game. Like, Great example of it. Yeah, it takes a if you skipped ahead to this point randomly, on target and he did it and you see, oh, it's six. No. You go back and watch those six, all six of those goals. Into a quite a dangerous position now. Promising build up. You might not. That challenge. Well, the home team has been outplayed, and the home supporters. But then you don't not or if you. Haven't they just? You could hear a pin drop here. But you might have avoided something that you just don't care about. Get it away here. Stephen. Ow. This is a joke. I was. I haven't been golfing all day as soon as I start recording. And here come the cops. Could be dangerous. I guarantee you, during the live stream, I will do next to no coughing. Because it will be. Well, it's going to be silent. I'm going to be put out in the bush here. It did me just like the live stream yesterday, because, well. I what a day he's having. Three goals now. He's been a thorn in the side of the opposition all match. And, and plus, it allows me to put 
YouTube videos on in the background without worrying about copyright. Well, this manager's been working hard on the training ground on a certain shape of problems. Is he getting results out there? You know, like to have something where an extraordinary thing or something. I'm interested. Say really game over. In the background while I play a bit of FIFA. Now Sadio Mane. That's good movement forward here. It's come off the goalkeeper, still in play. And that's really the way to get the ball out of the danger zone. Prepper. There's a full time whistle. It was absolutely. Oh, man, I got a hat trick. <laughs> to be honest, I was not keeping track of who scored. Put in a performance like that. For the. How many goals? Well, this is a win. I know Coutinho scored one, Salah scored, Mino scored, Mane scored. Uh, I think Lana scored. Yeah, he did. So pretty much all um, attacking now. Wait, if Emery had scores, it would have been all of my in midfielders and attackers. The football Which, uh, tells you a lot. <laughs> one Bradford City one. So you know, that was my Assassin's Creed box falling. If you heard that one, Doncaster Rovers nil. Newport County, two. To be honest, if that happened in real two. life, I don't know. Exeter City, three. Milton Keynes Dons, one. Coventry City, two. Morecambe, one. Fleetwood Town, one. Oxford United, three. Barnet, nil. Peterborough United, two. Southend United, two. Plymouth Argyle, one. Charlton Athletic, one. Rochdale, one. AFC Wimbledon, three. Scunthorpe United, one. Portsmouth, two. Wigan Athletic, nil. Oldham Athletic, nil. Yeovil Town, nil. Bury, three. Brighton and Hove Albion, nil. Liverpool, seven. Chelsea, three. Actually, oh, Newcastle United, nasty. nil. See. Everton, two. Just quickly. Huddersfield Town, nil. Leicester City, wherever, two. Where Everton are nil. in the league. Manchester City one, West Ham United nil. Stoke City. Because it's probably a mass contrast to where they are in the Premier League in real life. Yep, seventh place. West Bromwich Albion one. Uh, Crystal Palace thirteenth. Well, the fact that Crystal Palace have more than one win. At the top of the table, they kind of scored twelve goals. Is an actual second. Is a huge with thirty-four points. In third, rising up the table, wow. are Manchester City with 27 points. I guess in fuck fourth, you, Brian and other shit. Manchester United oh, yeah. with 26 points. Is, uh, in fifth, climbing the table. Weirdly, the game is showing what everyone is kind of, what, sixth, expected fourth, at the start of the season. Huddersfield and Brighton with struggle. In seventh, rising up the table, are Everton with 22 points. Southampton, where Burnley with 22 teams to see at the bottom of the bottom table, of the they table, do have two games in hand points. on most of the teams. And then oh. up the table, second bottom, Brighton and Hove Albion with 11 points. Third bottom, Huddersfield Town with 11 points. Fourth bottom, Swansea City with 12 points. Fifth bottom and falling are Newcastle so, United with 13 hmm. points. See, contrast. Huge difference. The bottom three in real a flying in uh, in seventh place is which they probably he he uh, he more hundreds more million instead uh, for in real life on top of what they already paid to be in the bottom three. You know, I actually, I was actually thinking about that yesterday, funnily enough, after 
Everton lost to uh, Leicester. I was thinking about it. I was like... I don't know if I would want Everton to get relegated. Now, we've I'm sure we've all joked at one point and about our evil teams getting relegated and laughing at them. Um, but you know, as a, as a Liverpool fan, I think I speak for. I think I can confidently say that this is a, a sentiment kind of shared by most Liverpool fans. I could be wrong, but I think I I feel like I guy could be right here. And that is, we kind of have a lot, we've really gained a lot of respect. We've, the the rivalry has really taken it back in the past couple of years because of what Everton have done in helping the families of the, of the 96. Like, the team. We've seen it over the past couple of seasons. And, and Everton put the rivalry was put on the back back burner mostly. See? Unless your name is Funes Mari and you're a complete and utter fucking idiot. The rivalry has really taken them back because of the because real events were more important. Ninety minutes now away from uh, presenting to you the. Final it wasn't about football. Table. This is the last action. It was about standing together yeah. as a. You want to go into it and come out of it more importantly with human no beings and people today. of the Liverpool same city. Sure, there was the, the 96 Liverpool fans who died in the Hillsborough probably had family members who are, who are Everton fans or who could be who have descendants who are Everton fans now. Well, it's a good situation for the home team to be in. They've already clinched top spot in the group stage, and that should help them so, an easier first round game when they play in the knockout stage. I think stage. a lot of Liverpool fans really respect that, what Everton okay, did. Man, to to oh. beat whoever they're drawn against. And that kind of makes me not want to see them get relegated. Well. Also, the oh, if they there. do get relegated, let's take a bit away from away here. Keeps there. it okay. Really, because other than Everton, Liverpool's only team that we have a rivalry with. Henderson, an advantage for Liverpool. Can they from take that, advantage of that the match position? is actually acknowledged as a rivalry, and we're not just you know teams that don't like each other because we're both manage this match and give competing for the same team, like same thing. It could be the start like we Liverpool are with today. doing like really Chelsea well. Chelsea league with five. Arsenal or Spurs is Manchester United. That's the that's the only ri other rivalry we have in the Premier League. And losing Everton, which no, could have been in really. It would be like be something is missing. Because unless we came up against them in the cup, there would be no mercy side army. Trying to pick out someone in the centre. And he's opened the scoring here. They just... What a great goal that was. I don't know. Something Defenders seemed to lose the concentration almost. They saw it coming wouldn't from a long feel, way out. Oh, It would feel weird. You know? Number. It's a really good finish. Now... 
obviously it's maybe way too early to say Everton are going to get relegated. I think right now the only team I would put money on to get relegated is Crystal Palace. And yeah, I, I, I would per like to see Crystal Palace go down. Just, just because of what they've done to Liverpool in the past. Yes, fuck them. And they were stupid enough to appoint Roy Hunt. That's in they should suffer the consequences of doing that. Very good distance to the clearance. We've gone for goal here. Oh, what a goal. And he's hit the target. Oh my word, to get the power, to get the accuracy from that distance out. It's just absolutely amazing. Superb shot. Marco Gruich. He's pulled a rabbit out of the hat here. Well, they just stood off him as if to say, go on, have a crack. And he did. What a finish. That was long range. It flew into the net from a long, long way out. His first time as well. Absolute beauty of a goal. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. Right now, I think only Crystal Palace would look absolute certain to go now. Restarting at 2-0. Everton, it could go either way. I think it'll depend on who Everton bring in as their new manager. I don't know if they're close to an appointment. I really haven't been keeping up. I know there was, was some talk of them well looking here. at possibly getting Carl in July. Coming up now. And Corner. some people say that, that that's a bit unrealistic. Well, the uh, I would point out that enough, I'm not so sure. Jurgen Klopp could have gone to any team. He could have waited for a much bigger job to come along. Instead, he took the Liverpool job. We weren't in the Champions League. We didn't have anything well special. Well, about us. But something made Jurgen Klopp decide, you know what, I will take this shot. So, say a manager might not take a job for any particular reason, it's kind of not really a thing anymore. Now, I don't think a lower league team could get a top quality manager unless they pay give him a lot of money. It's in for the goal. But to suggest no that he flung himself out Everton couldn't somehow lure Carlo Ancelotti to Everton. Well, he's doubled up here with his second goal. And would be took it in excellent style. Just ridiculous like if if the situation the goal again. if everything comes into place and Carlo Ancelotti might decide. My time with Chelsea didn't go as I planned. God, 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 short. I'm going to take this Everton job. I'm going to show Chelsea why they shouldn't have gotten rid of me. Yeah, I will show everyone they were wrong. He would have a point to prove. And he might see Everton as an opportunity to reject him. To... Showcase that, that and to use them as good, the move. platform this to display the his to ability, he, especially to a team like Chelsea, who, who threw him away he, just because he had a bad season. Towards the back post. Not to the level that Joseph Greeno had a bad season. Here at Drew Day won the league. But well, they've increased their lead here, and that could just wrap up the match. Yeah, the, the much better team out here today, and that scoreline reflects that. He didn't come first, so Abramovich decided, yeah, you're, you're not. Shape, and boy, is he getting results out there. One team really on their game. I, I would think the other very he would want 
the opportunity. And I think if the opportunity does arise, and so I might decide he, he'll give England another go. So maybe he'll, if he's offered the opportunity, to and if he wants to take it, why not? Another shot. I saved it again. It wouldn't shock me if he did. Here comes the corner, and the goalkeeper has done well to stop that one. Now, you might think, here's a chance to attack. I really don't think I had to get Everton out of this uh, sticky situation, so I'm just gonna. He might, he might decide that. But they are playing well. Their superior. I think the Everton increased really with this goal. I think well, the, really like the I said, the appointment of who Everton get will decide. If they make a good appointment, there's no reason to think that that appointment won't get Everton to January. Maybe sign us in through forward, and that center forward might score the goals that are necessary to keep everything. Taking them to the clean. Maybe he salvage a respectable finish. But on the other hand, if Everton make a bad appointment, then they might see their Premier League stature. Fall by the wayside as if it had been struck by a nuke, as if it's from Fallout. It could go either way. And I think any Everton fan would agree with that. I think they they'll all be sitting there hanging. Yep, this guy's right. He's absolutely right. Their sixth game, of course. Yeah, final 45 minutes. The appointment will make or break. If they it's a good cross. make the right one, Super header. I don't see any reason why they the think, the think why they can't stay in the periphery. Salvage their situation and completely turn their season around. Make a bad appointment and we might talk. And then Everton might be Maybe just missed, kicked it a little bit there, and a relegation the Coming on strong, looking to play their way through now. Well, nowhere near. Uh, he was a long way out. Yeah, I think that's a waste to try his luck from there. Well, he was writing his own headlines in his own mind, I think, when he let fly. It's a very thin line. But, uh, he's capable. Everything of just need today. to make sure that their appointment lands them on the right side of the line. The, the side of the line that says we'll salvage the season and secure per and make sure you don't fall into the championship and not the side that says you're fucked. Because I, I don't know what would happen to Everton in the championship. Again, it could be a situation of like, they're probably, they would probably lose almost all of their big players. Like, Sigurdsson would always be want out. And, uh, Rooney would definitely not stick around. And I don't care how, how many nights he spent sleeping in Everton pajamas, he'd be booking the first his bus back to Manchester. Or, or, and staying outside the stadium until... Old Jose Mourinho took pity on him and let him uh, play with the under 23s. Good defensive. I like the game. Just showed who my next game is. Oh, it's Everton. Well, the goalkeeper given that one from long range, really. So that'll be the first game of the uh, stream. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. The 
could really get at the opposition here. Possibilities, and it's in. Perfect header. Well, for all of you who love seeing headed goals, I do. I don't know. Sure. I know Alan does. Like I guess uh, I don't know. Like I was saying, I don't know. Timing. He gets up early, and what an emphatic finish. Like if Everton can maybe hold on to the majority of their players, I think their players would be. I think their team is too good for the championship if they were to go down. Even if they did make, like I said, the appointment where you're like, they don't salvage it. They, the they just continue to sink. I have to say it's so one-sided today. But you're trying to build a. No, they're racking up the goal. Chip out with Danny. a spoon. Sometimes being a favourite in a match can weigh heavily. With no such luck in any team, shape or fraction. And because they've not gone. taken it easily at all. They've given respect to their opponents. But maybe the they, maybe the players will be like, you know what, I'll, I'll stick around. If we can get up in one season, then they might. Good work, really, to read the I mean, intention of the pass. The break is definitely on. Shot on. Well, let's have another look at that because it was a very, very tight call. They were in otherwise. When I saw it, first time of asking, I thought he was on, you know, but looking at the replay, what a good decision from the linesman that was. Let's be honest with ourselves. I think we could all see that happen. There's good progress with this attack. That's a serious now, situation. They might be here after the the initial relegation if it were to happen. Patrick, goal number Again, three here. I come back to the point the that player. it will depend on the appointment they will be of the next the match Everton manager. Afterwards. I mean by now they pro Patrick, they might have a new manager that I just, just haven't seen or heard who it is. I don't think we expected this. Such a one-sided affair, but look at the scoreline. Able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. Henderson lost his man. But I think we will all see... One. He could cross it now. Delivered into the box. He's got his head to all going to be a matter of... Great power with the header. Excellently placed. Fine goal. He's always on the move in the box, this lad. We know the situation the he come jank. Well, he's doubled up here with his second goal. And he took it in excellent style, just like the first one. And here is another angle on that goal. Well, I know this manager's been working hard on the training ground on a certain shape. And boy, is it getting results out there. And we'll just have to, we just, like we said, we just have to wait and see. Well, it's a tough game for the team that are trailing. They're out of the contest, really. They're just playing for pride. They're really being torn apart. So not much time left at all. What does this mean, Alan, for their next game? Well, Liverpool go up against Everton after this. And, uh, One small mistake. I'll be really pleased. Could cost everything. We don't everything. have wingers in every game but these days, do we? We've we've had one here, and it's a shame because a great so winger can make uh, the right appointment. Great, uh, slipping it through. And Brilliant pass. Can he finish it? This will. Well, this is become a, a distant memory. <laughs> if all things go as planned. Has a go here. Well, with him, you know he's going to go for goal, but he's had better efforts, many of them. I'd be surprised if he is allowed to take the next one after that. Well, what can happen in four minutes? That's what we've got of added time. Four minutes of added time. We'll see. We will see. Good screening, and he's kept the ball. I'm actually trying what all this... Game is coming from the opposition here. A three points chase back because confirmed. That's the end of the game. It's worse. I'm trying to just see if there is any 
news. Across and grabs the match ball from the mm, red. Yeah, I have. Be treasured by any player. Well, look at that scoreline, and it emphasizes what we've seen in the shape of the game as well. Very one sided. Well, from the first whistle, they were on top, and it never altered for the entire 90 minutes. Wonderful stuff. It's often the fullbacks who drive them for No, nothing. Who knows? I could definitely see Edem. I think they need to have their new manager in by the next Premier League game. I don't know if they'll have him in for the Bayern Munich for the Europa League. Sevilla one. Spartak Moscow well, new on Thursday. More towards the end of the week. But, um, we we'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. Smash the like button. You did subscribe. You know, and I will see you all for the live stream. Until then, hope you all have a very very nice day. Peace.